Do I send money? Do I send money to Shanta's family? All right, so the answer is... Mabuhay Pilipinas! What's up sa inyo dyan? Ito na naman tayo kasama nyo ngayon si Pabibo! Wala kasi si Pabebe na sa late siya. Bibili siya ng lote. Ayan. Alright, ladies and gents. Meron tayong importanteng pag-usapan ngayon. Ang pag-usapan po natin ngayon ay sagot sa isang tanong. Ang tanong ay nagpadala ba ako ng pera sa family ni Shanta? Nagpapadala ba ako ng pera sa family ni Shanta? Or hindi? Diba karamihan sa mga Pilipinas Pino, nag, nagsisend sila lang pera sa mga family nila, sa mga lolo, lola, or mga parents nila. ba diba? Yun yung parang kulturang Pilipino. Okay? Pag matanda na yung parents nyo, supportan nyo sila. You send them money, ganun, ganun. ba diba? Yan. So, most foreigners, most Filipinos that marry foreigners. So, for all you English speakers out there, the question I'm going to answer in this video today is who I send money to Shanta's family or not. In Filipino culture, it's very normal for the children to support their parents, to send them money. Now, David Demuzio did a video about this where he was telling Filipinos they shouldn't do it because it's bad. All right, um, I agree with some of the things he said in his video. I disagree with some of the things he said. You know, like when he, when he tried to say that he had problems, he was not very wealthy when he was younger, growing up, and then comparing that to Filipino problems. I mean, first world problems are different to third world problems. Problems. You know, you can't really compare them. They're completely different. So yeah, when Filipinos get married, it's automatically understood that eventually they're going to have to support their parents. All right, you support your wife's parents. Uh, if your wife is working, your wife supports your parents. Ganon. That's how it is in the Philippines. Bakit ganon dito sa Pilipinas? At hindi ganon dun sa Australia or sa ibang first world country. Eh kasi nga, dun sa mga first world country, meron silang tinatawag na pension. So in Australia, if you are over 65, you get paid paid a pension from the government. Libreng pera galing sa gobyerno. Grabe, no? So, hindi ka, hindi ka kailangan magtrabaho kung 65 years old ka pataas. Right? Dito sa Pilipinas, walang pension. Meron silang SSS or pag-ibig, which is similar to a superannuation fund. But, if you didn't, if you're Filipino and you didn't work for a company that pays you superannuation or pag-ibig or SSS, when you get older, you have no super. You have no money to live off. Ganon, okay? At karamihan sa mga Pilipino, hindi nagtrabaho sa company na nagbabayad ng SSS or pag-ibig while they were younger. So, that's the difference. That is the difference right there. Us in Australia, we don't need to send our parents money because they get a pension. Like, you know, um, also one other thing, there's an age discrimination problem here in the Philippines. Older people find it very, very hard to get work here. You'll notice when you walk through the malls like SM or Ayala, um, have you ever seen an old person working at one of those malls? Have you ever seen someone over, let's say, 45 working in one of those malls? I've come across it, I've been in the Philippines for six years, and I've come across one lady who was 50 years old working in, actually here in the Shangri-La Plaza. All right, all the other malls I went to, I did not see one old person. The same with fast food in the Philippines. You will not, you probably won't see one elderly person working in fast food or any, any of the services provided in the Philippines. Any of the corporate jobs, any of the, um, you know, the retail jobs, the, uh, food and beverage kind of jobs, you won't see an old person working in this, in that industry. Very, very rarely. You, you might see one, but put it this way, I've been here for six years, I've never seen one elderly person working in any of those industries except for this one old lady in the Shangri-La Plaza. In Australia, in first world countries, we don't really have an age discrimination problem, all right? Kahit 55 kana. You can still work in fast food, you can still work in retail, you can still work in corporate, and there's, there's no real problem getting a job. Um, so because of those Two things because of no pension because of you know a lack of super maybe they didn't pay super while they were working or their employer didn't pay their super while they were working and um, because of age discrimination elderly people in the Philippines find it tough to make money and that's why Filipinos send money to their parents or their grandparents and it's, it's expected it's become part of the culture now that if you're Filipino you're working you've got to support your parents in their old age you've got to do it it's just expected. It's considered um, rude or medio bastos if you don't. Unless, of course, your parents, their parents are well off and don't need 
the money. So um, this is something that foreigners and Filipinos struggle with when they get married because the Filipina wants to send money to her parents, the foreigner doesn't because that's not part of their culture. You know, in Australia, America, Canada, the UK and things like that, we're taught to be self-reliant, work for ourselves, okay? Um, giving someone money is not going to really help them. Like the saying goes, if you give a man a fish, he eats for a day. If you teach a man how to fish, he eats for the rest of his life. So that's that's the mentality of, of foreigners in first world countries, right? You work for yourself, you never have to send your parents money. I mean, they're fine. They've got the pension, they've got a superannuation. They, they can go back to work if they really want to. That's no problem. But here in the Philippines, it's not like that. This can cause huge problems in a marriage or a relationship with, between a Filipino and a foreigner because foreigners just aren't used to doing that. And of course, there's a stigma among um, foreigners that marry Filipinos. Like, for example, nung kinasal kami ni Shanta, tapos in-upload ko sa YouTube yung proposal video, yung wedding video namin. Maraming foreigner nagka-comment doon na have fun sending money to her family for the rest of your life. Ha 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 ha. Nagka-comment sila lang ganun. And then, binabash kami dahil sin sinabihan kami na um, dahil kinasal ko, dahil kasal na ako si isang Filipina, magpapadala ako ng bera sa kanyang pamilya for the rest of my life. Ganun. And parang they're, you know, they're mocking us because of that. Um, so, you know, fo uh, most foreigners hate doing it. They they hate having to do it and they, they say, oh, your parents should go get a job. Your parents should have worked for themselves while they were younger. They had all their life to work and now look at them. They're old and they have no money. Like, what the hell were they doing their entire life? You know, that's um that's the mentality and the thought process of most foreigners. Um, what they need to, what foreigners that marry Filipinos need to understand is the situation. You know, the, the situation their parents grew up in, the situation their parents are living in, the education their parents had, things like that. Because um, they, they're not as privileged as people in first world country. They're not. And that's something that we've just got to deal with. Now, I mean, sending them money, sending them money, I think is okay. It's not like you're sending them $500 a week. Filipinos don't need $500 a week. You know, you could, you could get away with sending them $150 a week and that would be enough for them to eat. That would be enough for them to sleep somewhere. Okay, $150 bucks a week, you know, is fine. Um, this is a converse, if you're a foreigner and you're marrying a Filipina, or kung Filipina ka at um, may balak kang pagkasal si isang foreigner, um, dapat pag-usapan nyo yan kung anong financial situation ng parents nyo kung kailangan nga ngailangan ba sila ng tulong nyo ganun okay you need to have that conversation and make it very clear what you guys are going to do how much um you need to discuss with your partner how much uh, the, you need to discuss with your partner how much they need, how much uh, their parents need. You need to discuss with your partner how much their parents need every week in order to survive. I um, mean, perhaps discuss like alternatives. You know, help them, help them start their own little business. You know, selling, selling, you know, balut maybe or selling anything. You know, just so they can make money. Basta pagosapan niyo yan, okay? Because that's just how it is in the Philippines. That won't change. That mentality. Won't will not change until you know the, the Philippines brings in stuff like the pension until um, you know they get rid of the age discrimination thing like Duterte is current and no sorry wait I'll do that again I'll say that again um, this is how it's going to be in the Philippines until laws change okay until pension is brought in you know it'd be great if the government would have a pension for Filipinos over 65 that would solve the entire problem also the age discrimination thing the mayor of Manila is um, trying to get rid of that at the moment to give more elderly people work because they need it. So that's just how it's going to be for many years to come, all right? Hopefully, eventually it'll change. But for now, that's how it is. Um, Filipinos need their kids to send them money because if their kids don't send them money, they'll end up begging on the street. They'll end up begging, going to other people's houses, asking for money. I've seen it myself, you know, um, parents whose children have abandoned them, um, they just end up as beggars, you know, and it's, it's really sad because most Filipinos, when they have kids and expect that when their children grow up, they will send them money and look after them in their old age. You know, they'll put them through school and things like that. And, um, you know, if if the anak does not want to send money, they'll guilt trip them and say, ah, kami ang nagpalaki sayo, kami ang nagpa-eskwela sayo, ganun. <laughs> they guilt trip them. Uh, I've seen it happen before. The question, the answer to the question, do I send money, do I send money to Shanta's family? Because, you know, Shanta has a mom, buhay pa, papa niya, buhay pa, lola niya, buhay pa, ganun. So do I send money to them? All right, so the answer is no. Ne, hindi ako nang papadala ng pera sa family ni Shanta. Hindi ako nang papadala ng pera kay sa mama niya 
or sa papa niya or sa lola niya. Bakit? Bakit ganun? Kasi, in Shanta's family, her uncle, Mano Samuel, you remember him? The crazy Filipino uncle we did a video about? Yes, that guy, alright? He's a chief engineer on a ship and he makes anywhere between 200,000 pesos to 300,000 pesos every month. And Mano Samuel supports the entire family, as in Shanta's uncle, Shanta's mom, Shanta's grandma, okay? And, you know, her uncle's, uh, Mano Samuel's children as well as his wife. He supports everyone. Siya ang nagpa-eskwela kay Shanta at sa kanyang kapatid, okay? So he has looked after Shanta financially pretty much her entire life until she got married to me. And now Shanta has a YouTube channel. Shanta can look after herself financially kasi kumikita na siya sa YouTube. Ganun. That is why I don't send money to Shanta's family because Shanta's uncle is already supporting the entire family. Um, they've been really wise with their money. They have bought investment properties and now they make money every month from these investment properties. So, you know, they've, they're self-reliant. So, kahit mag-resign na si Mano Samuel, may income pa rin sila mga property nila. Okay? And may, meron din silang mga lupa, ganon. Okay? Marami silang assets. So, they're fine. But because of that, I don't need to send money to her family. Ang papa ni Shanta nagtatrabaho pa sa gobyerno. Okay? And um, he's going to retire soon. But again, my assets din siya. So, he'll be okay. So, um, I'm grateful that Shanta's family have been um, successful financially <laughs> because it means it's, it's not a burden on us, diba? Okay, it's not, they're not a burden, which is great, which is really good. So, yan ang sagot sa tanong nyo, mga pre, mga Mars. Okay? Hindi ako nagpapadala ng pera sa family ni Shanta kasi mayaman na sila or feeling mayaman. <laughs> Ayan, alright. Maraming salamat po sa panunood sa vlog na to. Okay? Sana kung Filipino ka or Filipina ka and you're in a relationship with a foreigner, you can work out how, you, how you're going to take care of your family, okay? With them, with your finances. Ayan, kita kids sa sunod na video ng Duanta or Dwayne Willie for now kasi wala si Shanta. Ayan. Okay, bye guys!